Alright, time to continue our game and the Mass Effect of Summer. Alright, so this is where we last left off. Oh, that's right, I have to do this all over again. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. Do you plan on making me leave? Leave? You think I'm gonna let you walk out? Uh-uh. Analeus would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? Your men are dirty, Sergeant. You're here off-duty, breaking the law for bribe money. I have a mission to complete. I did what I had to. I don't care. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? It's probably Analeas' thugs ripping the place apart. Smart ass, huh? That's fine. I can work with that. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. So this is where I actually left off. With that, let's resume. See what she wants. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. Why is an internal affairs agent here? The executive board knows about Analeas' corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. You work for Analeas. Can't you just take his records? <laughs> He's a crook, not a moron. He doesn't keep logs on his computer saying, this month I stole three million credits. Keen's testimony and records are everything I need to prove Analeas' guilt in one package. Why don't you ask Keen directly? I'm Analeas' secretary. You'd think he'd believe me? That he'd meet me in some dark alley with his evidence? I thought corruption was the rule on Novarian. The rule is, don't rock the boat. Self-interest is tolerated if it doesn't interfere with business. Analeas is driving customers away. I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. 
you help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. Anna Lay is East dirty. It might be best to help her. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You specters play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. What's happening up on Peak 15? Before the weather closed in, Hanshan received a Code Omega signal from him. Code Omega means a terminal breach of safety protocols. No one goes up until the crew sends an all clear. That doesn't tell me much. That's all I've got. No one knows what's going on up there. How can I get to Peak 15? The shuttles are down, so you'd have to drive up. If you get keen to testify, I'll get into the garage. Do you know why the Matriarch is here? Something to do with Peak 15. She arrived after we received their Code Omega, automated warning of a containment breach. She came with an escort of Asari commandos. They took the last shuttle up to Peak 15 with a load of crates. Do you know what she had in the crates? No idea. The commandos wouldn't let anyone near them. They seemed heavy, though. I'll consider it and get back to you. If you have any love for the law, you'll talk to Keen for me. Don't disappoint me. You know where I work. Come talk to me when you change your mind. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against an alliance. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. Everyone on this station is chafing under Analeas's extortion. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. The board is investigating Analeas. They'll be more angry at him than at you. All right. It is obvious that I cannot dissuade you. Very well. I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. Well, that takes care of that. Now we have to uh, let her know. Spectre, have you given any more consideration to my offer? It took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a Spectre and all. I guess some of you can be alright. Doesn't this help you? You don't seem particularly happy. I'm ecstatic, but right now, I just feel like a long day of work is ending. While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. This is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. You, Shepard! I demand you place this bitch under arrest! You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer. Well, since he's gone, let's see if there's anything of use in his office. Well, of course not. Oh. Well, actually, there's a wall safe. Does he have anything of use? <clears throat> eh. Let's just take it. 
Well, I guess that's pretty much it. All right, well. Actually, there is some unfinished business here. We have to go back to the docking bay. Let me take care of this piece of business first and then we'll get moving. Hey, welcome back! Uh, hey, it's, uh, it's doing good. Uh, how's it going? Get to go the right way. I'm more inclined to go the wrong way. All oh, the new episode. Oh yeah, I've been hearing about that. Isn't that the uh, show where Loki is trying to run for president in a uh, alternate dimension? Or rather, uh, that's not the Loki show. Actually, does sound familiar. Alright, so we got this. Where to next? Return the package. Your retrieve upholds value appears to be properly sprung. Bring it back to him at once. Alright. Where do I have to go? Okay. Get off my screen, you custom destination. Custom navigation points. You know, I gotta ask. Have you ever seen uh, WandaVision? That's okay, you know? If you don't want to explain it, I'm not going to ask. Besides, we want to avoid spoilers, too. You know, I've actually been hearing some really good things about WandaVision. I know it's a... I heard it's just a little weird, but it has charm. package I want to know where this package is going the customer is the Krogan called Inamorda that one is a bounty hunter of some repute and quick to anger now does the other have the package here you are the specter has done a great service for this one from the deepness of light, it thanks you. This one promised compensation for services rendered. It humbly suggests that a sum of 250 credits would be most appropriate. Would you have had any chance of getting this past customs without me? You can be a bit more... Generous. I also heard Falcon and Winter Soldier are the pretty good, too. Um, you know, one thing I've also noticed is that... Of truth. I think from what I understand here, I think Disney's actually doing a much better job of handling their shows than I think. I forgot who was doing this before that Disney bought them out. One's but taken by the that's other. just me. It can offer no more. It'll have to do. This one is glad to have come to an agreement. We'll be back later. I'm just browsing right now. This one awaits your return. Alright, so that takes care of that. Now. Off to peak 15.
Also, uh, also, there's one other thing I was also gonna ask. Are you gonna go see the uh, Black Widow movie? See if our new friend has anything to say. I heard the administrator's been arrested. Any chance you had something to do with that? He was corrupt. <laughs> Most people here are. I wish you could take them all down. So what can I do for you today? What was that about synthetic insights? Analeas had shut down SI. Looks like he was trying to blackmail them. It happens often enough. He got caught this time, though. Looks like the executive board is going to feed him to the... Are they making another Spider-Man movie? Hmm. I kind of thought they stopped making Spider-Man movies after, uh, Spider-Man 3. I have to go. Or actually, you no, wait a minute, excuse me. I'll Wrong. I'm trying to think, what was the last Spider-Man movie? Was it into the multiverse? Access to the garage is restricted. I have authorization. Excuse me. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Alutsk Valley. All right. We are out of here. Oh, what's their story? Uh-oh. Looks like we've got company. Somebody is here among us. See, these are what the matriarch had in the train. No one gets in or out. Hey, I just got into the garage here. What's the big deal? Jeez, why is there... Oh, far from home in the newest... No oh, that's right! That's right, now I remember. That's right, now I remember. Because I think that Spider-Man in uh, Far From Home, I think it was different. Was it? I'm just trying to think. Well, that'll come to me at some point. But anyways, let's focus on our mission now here. So we change our destination points all the way over here. Actually, it's kind of an awkward story. Um, same thing with the DC Universe also. Um, I mean, I love both equally here. I mean, I don't favor one over, over the other. How can I put this? It kind of started back when I was younger when I watched the animated series. I think X-Men was the first Marvel animated series that I saw, and Batman was the first DC. And like I said before, and like I said before, I don't... I don't necessarily say favor one over the other. I mean, I like both equally. 
I mean, both have their own unique roster of characters. Both have had tremendous success financially and critically. So it's really hard to say which... It's really hard to say which I like more. And let's not to mention this also stems from an old friend of mine who I used to work with, where he and I used to talk, not just Marvel movies all the time, but movies in general. And another fun fact is that uh, I actually did take a couple of uh, film courses in college. But that was a long time ago. And that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Hopefully that clarifies things. Straight ahead. Oh, another good show that from what I've heard that that is Good, that is, Netflix is a daredevil. I heard that was a good show. And I think Iron Fist is also decent, too. Yes. Yes, I recall. Um, I remember seeing advertisements for Green Arrow with Stephen Amell. What's interesting is that it's not a Netflix show. It's on the CW, I believe it was. Of course, what really makes it... I think I may have made, I think I made an emphasis on this on one of my other streams is that it, what makes a show a good show is who you cast, who the director is, and who you have working. That usually makes or breaks a show because I've seen plenty of shows before where the director is top notch, but the people they cast is, ah. and it also happens, and it also works the other way too, where you could have one of the worst directors in human history, but you have an amazing cast and make that show a success. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword. And I have seen shows like that, where it just comes and goes. And I'm not talking about Marvel or DC shows, mind you. I'm talking about, like, shows in general. Whether it's a soap opera, western, whatever. Of course, show business in Hollywood... It's a lot more complicated than people think. Because some people are like, oh, this oh, this director's in Hollywood. He's got this star casting this character. That means absolutely nothing. It's like I stated, you could have the worst director in the show, but you could have an amazing cast. And it also works the other way too, where you could have a top-notch director and have the worst cast ever. Here, time to head in. Okay, let's go.
Oh yeah, that's another thing, is that, uh, just like with any show, stars do come and go. Whether they have a, whether it's a contract, whether things fail in contract negotiations, or maybe there's a bit of a fallout between cast and director. That's usually another thing that, uh, can usually make or break shows. I think it's a really good example, because I remember it extremely well. I just remember what it was. I definitely do know that, uh, Gilligan's Island, uh, I think the actress who played Ginger had a major attitude. And despite the fact that she was, she did really well on the show, her ego got in the way. So yeah, there's a million and one factors here that goes into, a uh, production. And of course, for any people who wants to, uh, who's interested in taking film courses in college, in school, I would also recommend taking uh, some business courses as well, so that way you can mix them. So that we can mix the two together. But that's just me. What are you doing all the way over there? Oh, let's see, we got an upgrade kit. Why are the turrets facing the wrong way? They want to keep their people in as much as they want to keep others. In. Oh yeah, that's another thing is that, uh, you know, just because you work in Hollywood doesn't mean, uh, you can go around abusing, uh, the cast or the director. But I'm just trying to remember, what was that? The actor kicked the director or... Yeah, that's a definite no-no right there. You're under contract and, uh, you can't just be, uh, you can't just be, uh, having a big ego. I mean, just because you're not satisfied with your role in a major, in a major motion picture or even a television series doesn't mean you can go around abusing uh, the others because I mean I always firmly believe that if you got a problem with someone you got to talk to that person and you got to talk to that individual because if you just go around kicking at people here it's bad business Of course, like I said before, Hollywood is either one of two things. One, it can make you, or it can break you. Dude right there, he's an ugly thing. What were those things? Xenobiology is not my field. Maybe someone in the labs knows.
we gotta go straight. <clears throat> but it seems there's anything else of value here. All right. Getting a ton of these med gels here. You know, it has been a while since I've upgraded my equipment. Let's go. I guess somebody was gonna come from behind. Alright, perfect. Moving on. Next area. Gotta go find the backup generator. Yeah, that's not it. Roof? No. That reactor's this way, to the right. This one. Critical startup error. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. Manual. Code required. All right, so I guess we're gonna have to go elsewhere. So I guess we are gonna have to go to the core then. I guess. I suppose. Unless I have to do this alone. Let's just use some Amna Gel. Yeah, rather than run the risk of uh, doing something crazy. And besides, we can always make more gel later. It looks like you're trying to restore this facility. Would you like help? You're the virtual intelligence that runs this place? This system is monitored to respond to the name Mira. May I ask your name? Commander Shepard, I work for the Citadel Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. One moment, please. Council authority confirmed. You are entitled to secure access of all systems. Please note the perks that queries of being a relating to corporate secrets require privileged access. Privileged access is only available to Binary Helix executives. This system is ready to process queries. 
You may access me at any holographic interface within Peak 15. I need to find Matriarch Benezia. Lady Benezia departed on the passenger tramway to the Rift Station subsidiary labs. User alert. The tramway system is currently inoperable. What's the situation here? One moment, please. Diagnostics in progress. Critical failure. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Critical failure. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? Do you know why the reactor was shut down? I'm sorry, but I was offline at the time. Shutdown could occur if reactor breach seems likely, or in the case of catastrophic laboratory containment failure. Emergency guidelines suggest the frigid environment will kill biological contagions. It may also damage mechanical ones. Turn off the heat and hope the cold puts whatever you have unleashed to sleep. What do I need to do to get the power back on? The valves to the Helium-3 fuel line must be opened. This can be done at the controls on the reactor assembly proper. Do you know why the reactor was shut down? I'm sorry. Oh, we already heard this. Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. Tell me what occurred immediately before you shut down. Stage 1 alert issued at Hot Labs. Contaminants released from Laboratory Pod Gamma. Emergency protocols implemented. Stage 2 alert issued at Hot Labs. Isolation 2 breached. Tram shut down. Landline to Hot Labs disconnected. Stage 3 alert issued locally. Contaminants in tram tunnels. Station shut down and evacuation initiated. Code Omega sent. What sort of contaminants escaped? I'm sorry, Commander. Inquiries related to our research require privileged access. Only executives of Binary Helix have that level of clearance. Tell me what occurred immediately before you shut down. Oh. Stage so. 3 alert issued locally. Contaminants in tram tunnels. What sort of contaminants escaped? I'm sorry, Commander. Inquiries related to our research require privileged access. Only executives... Why were you taken offline? In the event, Peak 15 must be sterilized for security purposes. My program and data are purged. They kill you if something goes wrong? My systems are permanently disabled. To be killed, I would need to be alive. I am merely a database program. The creatures we've encountered here, did they come from the labs? I'm sorry, Commander. Inquiries related yes. to our research require well. privileged access. Only exactly. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedure. So we gotta reconnect everything here. Manual res so start, we'll start required. With the roof. Since we're going that way anyways. User alert. Landline connections are dis now exiting to the roof. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Yeah, we get it. Right, let's go. Are oh, which episode is it? The uh, is it the Bad Batch or is it an entirely different show that you're watching? That takes care of one. 
Connections restored. Processing new data. User alert. Unable to connect to hot lab facilities. Do you know why the reactor was shut down? I'm... Emergency guidelines suggest the frigid environment will kill biological contagions. It may also damage mechanical ones. Oh, the Lokia series. Um, that's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. So, you know, one thing I've always wondered is, since it seems like Disney's releasing these new shows based on the Marvel Universe... So it makes you wonder, uh, what's next on the list? Okay, hang on, I gotta take care of a couple things. Okay, I think level three we're just gonna get rid of. You know, now that I think about it, one personal, on a personal note, one show I would love to see me done is for the DC side of things, I would love to see a Deathstroke series. Oh, I forgot my companions also have items too, so this is going to take a little bit of time. We also have to take into consideration the other uh, crew members too. I also got to start equipping uh... on that as well. I'm not able to upgrade his armor. That's all right. Yes. Okay. With all that taken care of, let's move on. Let's move on to bigger and better things. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Shut down in accordance. 
assistance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Yeah, we know. Thank you for announcing that. The AG3 fuel line's cut. Yeah, thank you for pointing that out. Alright, so the fuel lines are fixed. All right, now we're making some real progress here. Let's see here. All right, perfect. Let's go. to subsidiary facilities. How may I assist you? What's this about loose contaminants? Dangerous biological agents are present in the tramway decontamination chamber. The tram station has been sealed in the interest of crew safety. Activation of the fail-safe plasma jets is recommended prior to access. How do I activate the fail-safe system? Controls for the fail-safe systems are located in the security checkpoint outside decontamination. User alert. The fail-safe system is currently inoperable. What would it take to get the decon fail-safes operating again? There is a hardware fault in the control system. This can be repaired on-site using a standard Omni tool. Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. What's the status of Rift Station? Rift Station has been locked down by the staff. There are presently no contaminants within the facility. The staff is alive then? Yes, though the number of personnel is below the official staff count. Why is Rift Station locked down? Emergency procedures require each facility to isolate itself to prevent the spread of contagion. It would also appear that there are several employees quarantined for medical treatment. If 
If it's locked down, will I be able to enter? The passenger trams can bring you to the facility. Further access will be at the discretion of the security forces there. Give me a status report on the hot labs. I am sorry. The network connections to the labs have been damaged. Data is limited. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Alright, so now we got some more work to do. We have to clear out the chambers. Oh, I just love uh, running errands for everyone. and transit hub user alert loose contaminants in the decontamination chamber access to passenger tramways inadvisable they're locked in the door could be I think you said that uh, there could be a way in. use the Omni Gel, but I gotta save that for my vehicles. There we go. Yeah, that might help. Online. Connected to subsidiary facilities. How may I assist you? Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Control group, loose in the... They're in... We can't escape. The tunnels now. We're sorry. The leads couldn't get to the fucking struck. Without why you can. He killed himself because he was part of whatever happened here? He must have felt there was no hope of surviving. Killing himself would be easier. Oh, dear. Look at that coming. Urging controls, so what about next? Online. Connected to subsidiary facilities. How may I assist you? Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. What's the status of Rift Station? Rift Station has been locked down by the staff. There are presently no contaminants within the facility. Give me a status report on the hot labs. I am sorry. The network connections to the labs have been damaged. Data is limited. Okay, so I guess I gotta go back. That's all I need right now. Very
All right, so. Quilt now we can go to the trams now. Great. Great. Squad. All right, now you can equip medium armor, finally. I don't know if I'd want him in pink. No, it doesn't look good on him. Okay, that's better. Well, I think the Mantis one would be better. Oh yeah, that looks way better. Okay, so she can't equip medium armor yet. Unless she can't. Departing Central Station. Destination, Rift Station. I've heard of that game, Detroit Become Human. I've heard, I haven't personally, and I've been hearing some mixed things about it. Now arriving at Rift Station, Binary Helix Research Facility. All right. station. Yeah, I get that, but, uh, well, anyways, we're gonna, we're gonna have to take some shots in the dark here, so I guess we're gonna go to the, this side of the room first. sure what was on the tram. Can those things work a train's controls? Hell if I know. I'm not assuming any goddamn thing. Look, that'd be impressive. Human and that's that'd be impressive that I won't did. Do. I'd like to know who you are. My name is Shepard. I'm the Spectre. Huh. I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out and he ain't all there anymore. The first we knew the bastards were clawing into my command post. Yeah, Possibly, I might them. see it in the future. We've never seen anything like them. What do you know? I'm no xenobiologist. They're fast, vicious, and there's a hell of a lot of them. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. I'm not going to let any of your people die. All I can do is hold out here and protect the civilians. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. You're certain the matriarch is still in the hot labs? She hasn't come back here. You came through Central Station, so she ain't there. Did the aliens come from inside the facility, or did they attack from outside? You want my personal opinion? 
Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. Tell me about the structure of the hot labs. It's built into one of the glaciers further down the mountain. Real old, thick, stable one. If something goes wrong, they heat it up and sink it to the ice. Normally, the crew gets to the labs using a tram from Central Station. We've got an elevator that connects directly, but it's for emergency use only. Um, listen, I'm not sending my people down there. It's too dangerous. You understand? I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Hell, man the perimeter! Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. I'll do whatever I can. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. Well, we got a little more uh, excess way, so let's keep going. office there'd be something to use here but I guess there isn't what you're a member of the science teams recently transferred yes what do you do here molecular genetics I specialize in biotic enhanced allele specific hybridization Think you could translate that into galactic? It's a genetic thing. Forget it. You seem less upset at this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. Tell me about yourself. I am Alestia Alice from the University of Arrhaeus. Is there anything in particular you want to know, or should I just spout random facts? No need to be so rude. You are interrupting my meditations. Precisely how rude must I be to convince you to leave? Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Why ask me, and not your friend? Because I do not know anything about the Matriarch. Uh, then why would I? That's all for now. Then I will return to my meditations. Uncertain. I welcome you. Cautiously, I am curious to know what you're doing here. I heard there were some problems up here. Furtively, I am concerned about the state of our guards. Many have been awake for days. For now, with forced cheer, I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. Let's have a look. Regretfully, most of my stock has been appropriated by Captain Ventralis. Hmm. Let's see here. Yeah, Liara would definitely consider that, so I'm gonna buy that for her. sleep since the attack. Is there something you need? How are you holding up? It would be petty to complain after showering off a co-worker's brain. 
None of us have had enough sleep since the attack. Of course, not all of us have guns. What sort of work do you do here? I can't say. I signed a non-disclosure agreement. If we survive, I'd like to keep my job. The location is terrible, but the pay is better than any other commercial lab. You're not happy on Peak 15? The outside world doesn't exist here. Just walls of ice and rock. There's only the work, the discovery. It's easy to forget why science is guided by ethics. Maybe we're paying for that now. What do you know about the hot labs? Nothing. I didn't work there. As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. Is he in the medical ward? No, he's staying in the science team's quarters. Be gentle with him. He had a trying experience. I'm looking for an Asari. Asari? Well, there's Dr. Ayalis over there. There's also our guest, Lady Benezia. Captain Ventralis might know where she is. I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. Sure. We'll report suspicious noises, all right. Hmm. Now the real question is where to go from here. Where did they come from? Were they in the lab? I never went in the high security areas. Don't you just love shows that, uh, don't you just love shows that, uh, end on a big cliffhanger? And then, of course, you're forced to wait until tomorrow, until next exciting episode. Very reminiscent of the 1960s Batman series. Decide where to go next. Hmm. Oh, Loki's a weekly show, isn't it? I think we're gonna have to start here. Work our way towards this way. things out there. About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. Where did they come from? They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. The waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? 
If you're gonna be crazy, be the quiet kind. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. I need to know everything about the Ragni. I told you all I can. We brought the Ragni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. I heard you were at the Hot Labs. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. Who? Doctors on Mua. We were going to lunch when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram and I closed the doors. She banged on the window once, then they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. I closed the door. I killed her. Tell me what you know. I'll make your survival mean something. You think I want absolution? There is none. Could Matriarch Benezia survive in the hot labs? It's possible. The specimens were sensitive to biotics. I'll be leaving now. Well, I guess we got a little more information, but uh, this really doesn't say a whole, a whole heck of a lot. That was just a bad joke. Let's have a look around in the quarantine. Oh, I guess we can't go in. You're not part of the crew. Call me Shepard. I'm a Spectre, sent by the Citadel. There aren't any human Spectres. Look, Blake doesn't care who you are. This lab is under quarantine. So I guess the only thing I could do now is just go through ventilation. I don't know, wait, I can't. Blocked off. Well, I guess we gotta go back up then. I don't think I have much of an option. Combat heart Metagel is a what, what what do you want? Were they attacked by the aliens? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. 
But you're going to, because I might be able to help. I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. I understand your caution, but I need details. What you say won't go beyond these walls. It's a bioweapon, based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature. But there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Forest B is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another, like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. It doesn't matter how safe you make it. Biological weapons are illegal. Militaries, governments, they'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. You made this but can't cure it. Don't you people take notes? Our first priority was getting it working. We were close to synthesizing an antidote when Mira went down. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. Is he right to keep people out? No, the toxin has a brief period of viability. After that, it breaks down into simple protein chains. But he won't listen to me. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. What will it take to get the cure for these people? The quarantine labs are near the science team's quarters. Once you're in there, look for our notes. It should just be a matter of following our processes. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. Alright, so that's our next objective. We gotta start... We gotta get these people cured. Something you need? I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. We're not part of your defense plans. We're consuming extra rations, extra metagel. Yeah, but you also have extra guns. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before I'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. If that's the only way you'll let us in, I agree. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. I've got work to do. You and me both. All right, we're making some progress now. What do you want? I have Ventralis's permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. The 
If isolated four chemicals that can be combined to counteract the toxin, they must be mixed in precise quantities. As each chemical is poured, the equipment will make the minimum and maximum amount that will work. Too little or too much will spoil the result. Aren't we finicky? Perfect. After the Geth secure, Thresher Maws are subterranean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gotta go in between the arrows. Nice. Your mission ends here, Shepard. Ambush. What happened to Ventralis's man? I didn't have permission to come in. He got in my way. I was ordered to eliminate you should the opportunity arise. And here you are, trapped in this lab. Weapons free! I get into the maintenance area. Oh. A team lead would have access. I'll be I... leaving now. Yeah. Alright. So the good news, we got the cure. Bad news is that uh should have suspected that we'd be ambushed. Sorry, scientist, the one in the mess hall, she just tried to kill us. Alestia? 
That's unbelievable. And I... I, uh, I don't know much about her. She arrived a month ago. One of the shareholders pulled strings to get her here. Let me guess. Sarah and the Spectre. Yes. I think that was the name. I, I don't pay attention to the other research teams. Look. The guards? They've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. What about the maintenance area? Do you have access to that? The maintenance area? Yes. Take my pass. But there's just snow back there. Let me see that file. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough that... Oh, God, what a cliché. You saved their lives, do you know that? Could you spare a few medical packs? They're worth their weight in gold up here. You didn't get these from me. Ventrolis wanted them saved for his people. I need to administer this. Thanks again. Nice. All right, so we're making progress now. Now we got to go through maintenance. Further is it until uh, my characters level up? Let's take a look. Oh, they all have a long ways to go. Yeah, I'm not much of a renegade. I've got quite a high level of paragon, though. or despair her children were to be ours raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies I won't be moved by sympathy no matter who you bring into this confrontation Liara is here because she wants to be not because I asked her to indeed what have you told him about me Liara what could I say mother that you're insane evil should I explain how to kill you what could I say have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been strict.
now it's just wave after wave of enemy. She doesn't feel so good now, does she? Filled with his light, everything is clear. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will. You. You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly. But the indoctrination is strong. Why are you able to break free of his control now? I sealed a part of my mind away from the indoctrination, saving it for a moment when I could help destroy him. It will not last long. So you could turn on me again? Yes, but it would not be my will, Shepard. People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. The ship that attacked Eden Prime? I didn't think anything that size could land on a planet. It has a very powerful Mass Effect drive, but that is not Sovereign's true power. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How does something that big go missing? 4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the Nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Someone on Novaria found it? 2,000 years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the Relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the Relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. How did the Rachni find it? They searched, patiently. They are territorial creatures, driven to close any possible way into their systems. Why does Saren need the Mew Relay? He believes it will lead him to the Conduit. I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his cause. Tell me where the Mew Gate is before I lose my temper. Of course, Commander. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it. Please. Knowing the Relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh You should... Oh! You should! Mother! I... Don't leave! Fight him! You've always made me proud, Liara. Die! Oh, after all that, you decided to say, yeah... I can't. 
cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Medijel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother! Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. They always said there would be a... Well, that was kind of a uh, unimpressive to say the least. I was kind of expecting her to like explode into a million pieces, or at least do something more drastic. This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Who am I speaking to here? We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. Did you order your people to kill the science team? No. We were locked away here. The children are beyond our songs. They have been lost to silence. The children we birthed were stolen from us. Before they could learn to sing, they are lost to silence. And their suffering, they cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen, they stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war. Claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. I understand. A child left alone in a closet until she is 16 would not be sane. I don't understand. These our elders. I understand. A child left alone in a closet until she is 16 would not be sane. If you're sure they can't be saved. It is lamentable, but necessary. Do what you must. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? <laughs> the Rachni were a threat to the galaxy. Those tanks are filled with acid. If she gets out of hand, they dissolve. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us. Or return our people to the silence of memory. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No. We... I... We do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. 
It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. Like, and the alarms are going off again. So we have to go to the hot labs, that's that's a given. The Normandy, sovereign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's just head straight out of here. Are you here to secure the situation? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? I don't understand anything yet. What were you doing here? Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Ragnar's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. A thousand-year-old egg hatched? Yes, very tough to be so long frozen, that it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. Binary Helix planned to clone Ragnai, mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Ragnai, it is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. This is fascinating, but we don't have time to chat. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. I am thinking that the neutron purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the purge system. It creates bursts of neutron radiation, kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. Once the purge is armed, we'll have to fight our way out. Give us a minute to patch up and rearm. 
Sure, sure. I wait here. I am not so much good for searching now, yes? <laughs> Mother always say I would meet a bad end. Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. How many Rachni are in here? I'm sorry. The sensor network is too damaged to provide an accurate count. Give me your best guess. Guessing is beyond my design parameters, Commander. Are there any survivors in here? Lady Benezia, an executive secretary of Binary Helix, is on the operations deck. There are no other living crew members within the lab structure. What's the status of the facility? Containment breach and laboratory pod Gamma. The neutron purge system is functional, but has not been armed. I need information on the neutron purge. The neutron purge is a failsafe system installed within the isolation tube area. In the event of irretrievable containment loss, it is used to resolve the situation. What exactly does this thing do? The purge is a neutron burst weapon. Two volumes of fissionable materials are brought together to form a critical mass. Most of the energy is released in the form of high-speed neutrons. This radiation is instantly lethal to any known form of life within 500 meters. We would be wise to avoid touching any controls without reading the instructions. That is advisable for all systems within this facility. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Who would have the code? Director of Operations, Yaroslav Tartakovsky, or any executive officer of Binary Helix. We're moving on. Logging you out, Commander. Alright, so we gotta get this code from him. So well. How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then uh, I will get near and destroy the purge. Oh, that's real lovely. So much for those codes. the neutron purge I'm sorry but I can't do that without proper code authorization code input 8750200079 code omega local execution verify code omega execution in 120 seconds I'm to get out of here
really got out of there. Now we gotta go back to the tram. There we go. By the way, did my character? No, none of my characters leveled up. Yeah, looks like our job is done here. Our next move, Commander. Head for the Mew Relay. The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. Crew dismissed. Ovaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? And then released the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? This Queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Ooh, all right. I think that is going to be good enough for now. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. Thanks to those who joined me in the chat. I'll see everybody next time.